Hello, I am Hot Mess Ness MUA, and this is another collab tutorial. I like to do them, okay? They're fun. They push me out of my comfort zone, and today's look is a doll themed collab. Some of the other creators are doing their takes on dolls, and I thought I would do the ventriloquist dummy doll, and it was just fun. I kind of changed it up last minute. There are a couple changes that I would make along the way, but here it is. It's a very easy. All you need is a good contour palette, pretty much, and some eyeshadows and some white, and you are set. Please go check out the other creators who participated in this doll collab look. You can check them out here and here and here and maybe over here. Please go support them. They are great friends of mine and they are pushing their boundaries and you know what, sometimes that's all you can ask. Not all of us do this kind of thing every day. We have other jobs, other things that we do, but we love YouTube and that's why we're here to create together. So please go support them. If you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I started out with my primer and just rub it all over my face. And then I start with my cocktail of foundations. Actually, I did spot conceal first with shape tape and then my cocktail of foundations. So, you know, you blend them all in. It's a little bit lighter than usual, but we're going for doll-like. And then the spots that needed extra, I gave it extra. Then I took my lightest shade of foundation and just did that in all the places I want to highlight and blended that in. <clears throat> so now we contour. I actually did this step once and then I went in and did it again because for this mannequin kind of doll, it's a little bit dirty. So by doing the multiple layers, it really helped. Then I'm setting it all with loose powder, RCMA, no color powder. Set under my eyes and all those areas with Kat Von D Lyric. It's the yellow shade in the palette. And now I'm going in with various different tones from various different contour palettes. I really broke out every contour palette and went in and really shaped the cheeks and I blend it out. And then I'd use a darker shade and blend it out and work into the forehead, bringing it much lower than I normally would and scooping it underneath the crevice of the nose. And then I'm taking the Lorac contour palette and the very deepest shade and really deepening up the forehead and I decided that I was going to clean it all up with a white eyeshadow so that way I'd really get the doll like structure now I'm taking like the draping technique where I take a lighter shade of blush and I go under the cheeks and then I take more pigmented blush and work on the actual cheek area and I will leave all of those down below now I've switched to an eyeshadow brush to contour underneath where I did all of the cheeks. So I'm just redoing everything. And that step took forever. I did it over and over again. Now for the eyes, I'm just gradiating down various shades of brown. These are all Feather River Body and I will leave all the shades down below. But I start with a lighter shade and then I go a little darker and a little darker. With each shade lower, it goes darker. And eventually I end up with a very small brush right next to the lash line blending and adding more color. You end up with an almost brown black right next to the lash line. And then I move on to the lower water line. I'm taking a color pop white shade and just coloring that in. And then I actually go lower underneath my actual eyelash, the real eyelashes on the bottom. And I continue with the white. Then I go over with a black liquid liner and draw on fake lashes and a new real waterline. And then I set that with a black shadow. Now I am actually putting on my lashes. That was um, really interesting. I double stacked them and trimmed them so they look more doll-like. If you guys ever wanna see something like that, let me know. And then I added more shadow and detailing underneath so they looked more realistic. Now I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and I'm going back underneath where I just put the blush and recontouring and then I'm reapplying the blush. Always in between, I'm adding in 
all of the blending properties. Now I'm concealing the lips and then I'm setting everything again with the white eyeshadow. Going in with Jeffree Star's Designer Blood, I'm doing a really small doll-like lip and then I'm filling in the center with a red liquid lipstick from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Now I'm shading with the brown eyeshadow all the places where I'm going to be drawing lines for the dummy mouth and the chin and more into the cheek hollows. I also do the nose to really slim it up and then I start going in with my little freckles. Now if you're going to do circle cheeks, I would stick with circle cheeks, circle cheeks or freckles or do them in different places because mine turned out kind of funky. So then I just shade in with that same little brush where I'm doing the black marks, chin, cheeks, and then I take a black gel liner and I do all of my detailing. Again, I would skip the circles, it just kind of funky. That's what I'm saying. Blend in the blush, there we go. We added this horrific wig that I've used before. So I think it's another fun, terrifying, ugly look. Um, it was a lot of fun to create. If I was gonna go back and do this tutorial again, I would either do the circles and no freckles, or yeah, I'd pick one. I'd do freckles or circles. Cause both, I mean, once you get the wig on, it just looks like shadowing, but without it, it looks crazy. Like. No, but I love it. What do you think of my creepy doll? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please go check out the other creators who participated in this doll collab. They are awesome creators and I always love doing anything with them because they really try to push their limits. They get out of their comfort zones and it's an awesome thing. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.